Hi, I'm Dr. Neha, and as discussed, I have come up with another video of MCQ on UV spectroscopy part two. So let us very quickly go ahead with the questions. In the last video, we discussed 25 questions. In this video, also we'll cover uh, 25 more of them. So let's start. Choose the wave number corresponding to 25 mu m. Now wave number is nu is equal to 1 by lambda. So if I do like 1 by lambda but then uh, the answers are in centimeter inverse. So I think uh, you understand that 1 mu is 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter. So if I multiply it with 10 to the power minus 4 uh, I would get that in centimeter. And if I solve this I will get that 400 centimeter in watts. Coming to the next question which of the following is a real limitation to be your law? I discussed in the previous video also and then there is separate video on Lambert Beer's law on my channel where I have derived the entire law and have solved the questions also. Here there I have discussed that Beer says absorbance is proportional to concentration. So definitely this is the real limitation that the analyte at very high concentration if they are used uh, they show de deviation from beer lambert law uh, in the spectrometer when you use it you will see the graph and the deviations in the graph like uh, the graph if it's going to be like this there will be deviation from the graph so limitation is that coming to the next molar extension coefficient has units of now if you remember a is equal to epsilon cl which implies e is equal to a by cl now a does not have any unit while c is obviously mole per liter and l is path length which is centimeter so if i reverse this i'll get this liter mole inverse or centimeter inverse Coming to two samples each containing same analyte at equal concentration are irradiated with different intensities of radiation. Select the correct statement regarding the absorption shown by two samples. Let us quickly go to what they are asking is this is the question. The intensities are different but the sample uh, concentration remains same. You have two different samples and these are the absorbance. Now what they are asking is what is the correct statement. So the correct statement obviously is this one where these two are equal because I guess you understand that absorbance is independent of the intensity. Right? It is the ratio of I0 to I. I hope you remember you just go and watch uh, the video Lambert Beer Law where I have explained this. So if this is double, this is double. So basically proportionality there is... Uh, no change. So above all the values would be same. It, it uh, varies if the concentration is different. It is proportional to the concentration, right? It's proportional to concentration and to the length. So if this changes, it may change. But when the intensity changes, it does not change. Coming to which of the following statement is not correct. Absorptivity changes with intensity, is independent of intensity, has no unit, is a constant. These they are right and obviously based on the previous picture you may identify that it changes with the intensity is not correct. It does not change, right? Coming to the next, all of the following are useful as a source of UV visible except uh, obviously global source because xenon discharge lamp, deuterium discharge lamp and tungsten filament lamp are used while global source is used in IR spectroscopy range. Which of the following material is used to coat the cathode in phototube? Uh, that's nothing but cesium. Iodine is spilled in the tungsten filament lamp too to redeposit the sublimed tungsten. Coming to the next one, collimator is a device used in monochromators too. Uh, yeah, collimator is the entire device. I hope you remember in the last video also I said that you have entry slit, then you have diffraction grating or then you have an exit slit. So what is the role? The role is to focus the incident radiation parallel on the dispersing device. This is the dispersing device. Coming to the next equation very quickly, I have to cover all of the 25. So which of the following leads to chemical deviation from Beer's law? Uh, there is no deviation uh, related to the concentration. So if you change in the pH of the solution, then there is deviation in the uh, Beer's law. All of the following expressions are correct except transmittance is IT by I0. So if you have, you know, Q weight and then I0 is the incident light, outside light is I. So definitely transmittance is this, IT, IT by I0. 
a is equal to minus log t to minus percentage log t this also i have derived in my previous videos you can go and watch so definitely this one is wrong no sorry uh, yeah this one is wrong they are saying except right so obviously minus log i by i zero i ka not this and if they have used minus then reverse it okay coming to the next one uh kya lagta hai what is solvetochromism the name itself suggests here solvetochromism solvent ke presence may if there is any change so what is the change in the solvent if you change the polarity of the solvent then the substance can change color and that is what change in solvent polarity solvetochromism you'll find this term in my video of bathochromic and hypsochromic shift coming to the next one two compounds a and b have molar absorptivity this and this which of the following statement is correct regarding them now if you read the sentences compound a can be detected at very low concentration now you see the epsilon is more here right so if the absorptivity is more a is equal to ecl this is more then uh, the compound can be detected at very low concentration so this is correct coming to which of the following shows bathochromic shift in polar solvent it's ethylene you may go and watch the video why the color of the substance perceived by human eye is obviously not same as that of the substance absorbed right which of the following detector has fast response time yes definitely photodiode array a sample exhibited has an absorbance 1 in uv spectroscopy the percentage transmittance will be obviously absorbance is equal to minus log t right so you just substitute the value and get the percentage transmittance or in fact 2 minus percentage log t uh, if you remember right here uh, in terms of percentage yes this a is equal to 2 minus log percentage t so just use this and you will get that coming to the next question absorptivity of standard sample of so and so solution measured at path length this is 312 312 is nothing but the absorptivity that means if a is equal to ecl then e is 312 then the absorbance of the test sample was observed this at 254 nm so the wavelength remains same right and you have to find out the concentration so absorbance uh, they say 0.624 which is equal to this c you have to find out and length is given 1 cm so i can substitute 1 so if i solve this c i'll get this right but if you see here it is 1% wave uh, and here it is written this so how are you going to do that 1% is uh, weight by volume right that means 1 gram in 100 ml right and what does that mean that means 10 gram per liter fine so with the help of this uh, with the help of this you will be able to understand uh, you'll use this in here multiply by 10 and then you will get the answer as like 0.002 gram and when you convert it into milligram you will get this answer coming to the next question the compound used to calibrate absorbance scale is this potassium dichromate definitely coming uh, to the next question before that if you have understood the questions well please hit on like that gives me motivation and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe for more such videos next question let us quickly do that the units of absorbance are again i think up to you aapko yaad ho gayi hogi equation a is equal to ecl now you have to find out the unit of absorbance uh, unit it is no unit because c is concentration which is like a uh, mole per liter right and this l is path length which is centimeter inverse but then epsilon is liter mole inverse centimeter so all these things cancel out and then there is nothing left 21 a cut off wavelength the absorbance of the solvent is 1 the imx and first derivative curve of uv spectra is denoted by slope value of 0 obviously positive deviation from beer's law is due to positive deviation from beer's law is due to 
the deviation is uh, obviously due to absorption of stray radiation because then uh, it is showing you right there is a deviation which is positive that means it's showing you what is a stray radiation the stray radiation is the radiation which is outside of that uh, wavelength which the monochromator has set certain wavelength right one wavelength at a time your graph is absorbance versus wavelength so one uh, one wavelength at a time if your graph is lying this uh, because of the stray radiation it will show this why because the wavelength is uh, apart from your set wavelength if other wavelengths also are reaching to the detector those wavelengths are known as stray radiation now this may happen uh, due to a uh, problem in the grater or uh, there may be leaks of the radiation so basically this gives you uh, deviation next question all of the following change the absorptivity of sample except means uh, the absorptivity does not depend on what so it depends on molecular structure wavelength of radiation temperature yes but the absorptivity does not depend on the concentration absorbance depend on the concentration not the absorptivity and the last question is absorption spectra is a plot of i said it's absorbance versus wavelength right so it's very easy uh, question for you and that mark end of my second video so uh, just to remind you if you want uh, more topics to be covered please mention in the comment i'll try to make the video on the, that topic and uh, do uh, listen to my videos thank you so much